Alrighty guys, so we're back with another video. Purpose of today's video, we're just gonna be moving some switches around. Um, so here we kinda have everything a little bit torn apart. The switch situation just was not working. I have to change it around and that's what we're doing. So I have the Nexus 3K right here, held up by a new um, rail I got. So this is going to hold up the Nexus 3K. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put it on the other side. And then we can go ahead and talk about just where we're going to put the actual gigabit switch. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right. So we got the, the Nexus 3K finally mounted properly. Um, let me go down here so you guys can see. No more sagging at all, which is perfect. That's what we want. Um, it's nice and snug and secure in there. So, yeah. Um, what I'm trying to figure out now is how to mount the 3850 in the back. Now, um, I don't want the switch in the front because these cables aren't really going to reach. Uh, these cables were made to length, basically. I don't want to buy new cables, so I'm going to try my best to figure out a way I can get this thing in the back. Um, I'm thinking I might just try to use like a shelf or something, but I don't know how this is going to work. So, stand by. Alright, so... <laughs> Um, the switch is right here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. However, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, what I'm trying to make work is basically getting the R240 mounted in there, right on top of the uh, Mac Pro there. Um, so I'm going to get the rails here and see what I can make work. The switch is not really a huge priority. Worst case scenario, I'll leave it like this and just it will be really janky. People will complain in the comments about it. So, um, what do you think about that, buddy? What do you think? Should we leave the switch like that? I'm gonna take that as a no. All right, let me, uh, okay. yeah. Let me um, go ahead and uh, get this thing mounted in there. So this is the R240, you guys have already seen this. Um, I am tired of it being here. I have not had time and I have time today to try to mount it. So let's go ahead and get it done. All right, all right. So we got the rails, rails in for the uh, R240 here. It's gonna go right on top of the Mac Pro here. Yeah. As you guys can see, here's the back of the uh, Mac Pro. It's got a little bit of the stuff in there. I have to still um, edit the video on this uh, with all the stuff in there. I finally got around to shoving all the uh, stuff in there. So, 40 gig card, uh, NVMe drive. There's actually a couple of those in there. One Radeon 6800 and then another Radeon 6800. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Let's go ahead and um, get the R240 racked up. Just clearing out the space here, guys. I don't want anything uh, clashing here or anything. Uh, these are the 40 gig connections for the Mac Pro, if you guys don't know. Why did I just do that? Come on, man. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Hope you guys just don't see a uh, rear end in that shot, but it's in. All right. Oh, it's too. You got the thing is too thick to go all the way in, so that's annoying. That looks stupid. Oh man, that's annoying. It's got stupid freaking plastic things on the ears. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this nonsense, man. Ah. Dude, hopefully you guys can even see. Oh god. Mm. Alright, hold on. Let me see something here. Alright, uh, look at this. Look how stupid this is. So, we've got the... You guys can't really see that. But there's the 
um, the little rail ear right there, um, slot 10, and look how thick this, um, this stupid little plastic trim piece is. Um, I might try to take this off, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. So let me go do, uh, let me see if I can either file this down or, uh, because <laughs> this not being flush is going to drive me crazy. Because look, yeah, it's, it's hitting right there. You guys can't see this. this thing sucks at focusing, but yeah, dang it, man. All right, well, that is annoying, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. So, uh, frustrating. All right, guys, so, um, turns out this is actually a whole assembly. Um, like, this is all big one piece right here. So, uh, I could take a Dremel to that back piece, but I don't really want to. Um, I feel like it would just make it less structurally sound on this piece right in here. So um, I might explore the option of dremeling that down in the future. But for right now, I'm just going to pull everything out just the slightest bit. So it doesn't drive my OCD crazy. But I am going to be dremeling this down here when I... Uh, I first of all, I have to get a dremel. So yeah, uh, very frustrating. But the show must go on. All right, so now that I think of it, I just realized that these aren't even the right rails, or it's just a shelf to put it on. These aren't even the right um, rails to, to use with this server. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the actual rails for it, um, and then I'll end up re-racking it later. Um, but yeah, I, I just realized that this isn't even the right stuff for this, this server, so of course it's not gonna push in all the way. I feel like an idiot, but um, yeah, we're making progress, guys. I'm going to push this in as much as I can, and then we're going to go ahead and look at the uh, 3850 again here. Alright, guys, so as you can see here, we are looking good. Um, however, <laughs> this is going to drive me nuts. I've been looking for the last like 15-20 minutes on uh, how I can... Uh, fit, I've been looking for about 15 minutes on uh, line on the part number for the rails and I cannot find anything. So if anybody knows the part number, the Dell part number for the uh, R240 rails, please let me know so I could uh, order those. So now it's time to focus, uh, man, anyway. And now it's time to focus on uh, <laughs> the switch here. Um, I asked our system administrator here how he wants us to mount it. Um, it hasn't gotten back to me yet, so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of figure it out ourselves, so. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so we got good news and we got bad news. So good news is we found a spot for it. Bad news is it's blocking the R240's um, top outlet or top exhaust ports. Um, now to negate this, we can just turn the fans up a little bit. However, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to look into like a little spacer for this. Um, also, another issue is when we go to unrack the R240, if we ever have to, which we really won't, um, but I don't like to plan for I don't like to base what I do on <laughs> on maybes so does, does that make sense I don't <laughs> what am I trying to say here I I, I don't want to just leave it like that and just say oh well since I'll never do it it's okay it's what I'm trying to say so um, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna leave this in here temporarily like this we're gonna add in these um, these like little support braces we're gonna buy a set for the 3850 and we're going to uh, put that in there um, and I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just turning up the fans in the R240 I don't know if I can get a spacer in there maybe like a like a quarter of an inch spacer or maybe like 5 8 or something uh, in spacer right in between so it has a little room to breathe but we will see I don't know if that's actually gonna work or not but yeah, I'd say that's mission accomplished. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up uh, these cables and uh, <clears throat> yeah, making progress. All right, so switch is in. We've got our connection to um, the other switch. We've got our endpoints, or not really endpoints, but our servers hooked up. I got the Mac Pro, the two DL3 G10s all hooked up. We've got the R240, we've got the WAN and the LAN connection. Um, we're still obviously waiting on 40 gig connections for all this. Um, so we're not ready to finalize any of this because this is not going to stay like this, obviously. I mean, this is just a mess. Um, we're, we're not going to keep it like this. 
until we've got um, final cables and everything. So, yeah, guys, um, now all that's left is just to run the power cable to this guy. As you can see, this is not permanent. Um, I'm going to have to play with the, uh, the, you know, play with the airflow stuff, make sure the R240 is not overheating before I finalize this. But, yeah, guys, making progress. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the switch and make sure everything's still kosher with it. All right, guys, we have power. We're booting up. Um, it took me about five minutes to get the uh, <laughs> to get the actual power cable in there. Man, this is not an ideal setup at all. Now we do have some room for the 40 gig runs to run, kind of run across and out. Um, but yeah, not not ideal. I'm not sure if this setup is gonna stay or not. But uh, yeah, this is kind of what we're looking at right now. So. Looks all right. Now, yes, I could move both switches to the back, but I don't want to do that. I do not want to move both switches to the back. I want to keep the 40 gig in the front because I like the way it looks. So, form over function. So, we're still a, quite a ways away from getting this thing uh, fully fired up and um, activated, I guess. Uh, we got a lot of cables and stuff we're still waiting on. Um, I think the 40 gig cables um, are in back order, so... Waiting on those, waiting on processors and RAM still for the G10s. Um, yeah, I think that's it though. So we're getting close. We're definitely getting close to be able to start configuring this stuff. I'm super happy to uh, get ahead and get started with that. But yeah, that, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna actually gonna, we're gonna fire up the uh, PF Sense machine too. All right, so we got the router all plugged in. As you can see, you got a green light. Uh, now we're just waiting on. Cool. Let's see if this thing actually boots up the first time. Um, another comment on one of the previous videos said to get a Dell um, BOSS card. BOSS stands for Boot Optimized Storage System. Um, definitely thinking about doing that. So, Alright, yep, it's booting up. So, I call this a success. Now, none of this is set up yet. Um, it's not going to be for a little bit. Like I said, I want to do everything in kind of in one swift swoop. Uh, yeah. Alright, there we go. Cool, got our WAN and got our LAN. So there we have it guys, we are done here, um, for, at least for the most part. Uh, we still gotta do quite a lot of configuration and stuff, so as a base, you know, kind of setup, we are looking pretty good. Like I said, we got a lot of stuff we're still waiting on um, to start doing the AI stuff. And uh, all right, so before I end the video, one last little thing here. Um, so here is the temperature stuff. So fans are at 44%. We're looking at a, goodness gracious, 37 degrees on the processor. This thing does not want to focus. Um, so we're looking pretty good. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Um, ambient's a little high, obviously, because it's warm in here right now. But um, yeah, I am pretty happy with that so far. Uh, we'll see how it is after a few days of uptime. But also, I am updating PFSense. Somebody did leave a comment about um, the age of the PFSense uh, install. Yes, it was because all I uh, have on ISO is the 250 image. I don't have the newest ones in ISO because the ISO dot the dot ISO dot GC doesn't really play nice with the uh, with Mac OS. So I just uh, I have an image that I keep in the cloud. I just pull it down whenever I use it. So we are closer to finishing the actual like real home lab, like the uh, the big rack. Then we are with the uh, the AI rack. So yeah, this we're just waiting on some a couple more small pieces. We should be up and operational by the end of the month for this rack. But this rack we're still um, still anticipating probably another month or so. So yeah, guys, um, we're getting closer to start starting to configure this stuff. I'm really excited to get started. But uh, thank you guys so so much for watching these videos. Um, the support means the world to me. Um, the videos have been doing pretty good, um, at least to me. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.